my friends from uh, Little Black Bear First Nation, I bring you greetings and from Treaty 4 territory. Just a few words here. This is a treaty gathering, a treaty powwow. And we always acknowledge our tribes throughout this territory, the Denison, Nene in the north, the Dakota, Lakota, Nakota tribes, of course, the Nehewak, and the Anishinaabek. And we always say, as indigenous peoples, we have our own land, our own languages, our own laws, our own territory, our own populations. And we exercise that inherent right to make a treaty with that crown and right of Great Britain. And we grew up listening to these words that nations make treaties, treaties do not make nations. And we said it's to be on peaceful coexistence and mutual respect with our white brothers and sisters. And we still have to carry that forward. We are all treaty people sharing this land. And yet we have much to do to see that treaty honored and implemented according to that spirit and intent. One of the things we're working on, our old people always say we're shared the depth of a plow with our white brothers and sisters. Only the depth of a plow. We still have to see that Mugigwai underneath that. And so we have to work on that. Resource sharing. Resource sharing because that's how we're talking about it now in Treaty 4 territory. And we've always said we look at a political strategy, a legal strategy, an underground civil activist strategy if we have to. We're looking at it on a legal way to deal with that. So when we come together as treaty people, we can say we dealt with that. Because we keep talking, but we're not moving forward. We have to move forward now, and that's how we look at it. So my friends, my relatives, the last point I want to make, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge this point about government has yet to respect and honor that treaty. Government has yet to, to see that treaty honored according to spirit and intent because what they've done now, we no longer have a Minister of Indian Affairs. We have a Minister of Aboriginal Affairs. That's not right. That's not respect. That's not the way it should be. It takes away from that relationship with that crown. It takes away from that. And we put into that mixing bowl with all of our other peoples. It takes away from that. So we have to be louder. We have to be vigilant. We have to be stronger when we want to change that now. That's the way we have to keep going forward. And I also want to say, by our dancers and our singers and our lodges, we have to keep going back to them and put those first. As indigenous peoples, that's how we're going to get stronger because there is freedom from alcohol and drugs amongst our people through these ceremonies. And that's the way we will provide hope for our young children and grandchildren and those yet to come. So my friends, my relatives, enjoy the rest of the powwow.